What's the first thing you think of when you hear Silent Hill? Is it Nurses? Pyramid Head? Robbie the Rabbit? Psychotic anime? Girls? I'm about to share with you all my theory on how Silent Hill F isn't what you think it is just because of who's writing it. But before we get started, you know what to do. Like the video and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that'd be best. Best for everyone, right? But more than anything, I appreciate you watching. Now, let's get to it. You may ask yourself, why does who's writing it matter so much? Well, it's simple. The writer is none other than Ryukishi 07, the creator of one of the best horror mystery visual novels out there, the Higurashi and Umineko When They Cry series, which spawned an entire franchise across manga and anime, except the Umineko anime. We don't talk about the Umineko anime. I'm mostly going to be discussing the implications that the Higurashi series has when related to Silent Hill F, because that's what I'm most familiar with. I haven't had a chance to play the visual novels or read the manga for the Umineko series yet, but I'm currently playing through the Higurashi visual novel series. Link to that playlist is down below, and I'll eventually get to Umineko as well. Oh, oh, sh For those of you unfamiliar with it, Higurashi is a visual novel created by Ryukishi O7's publishing company, O7th Expansion, back in 2002, with the first chapter being released at Comic Cat 62. And the first season of the anime came out back in 2006. And now I feel ancient. Higurashi is, in my opinion, one of the best horror mystery stories ever written, even without reading through Umaneko, which a lot of people say is even better than Higurashi and expands upon the lore. But for all of you Silent Hill horror and gore fans, you'll enjoy the levels of depravity Ryukishi O7 can go to. I hope you like surprises. <laughs> this has some of the most heinous things I've read and seen. The violence and horror is relevant throughout the entirety of the story. I don't want to show too much here though, because of spoilers, but mainly because Big Boss YouTube will get upset. I don't want them to do the stabby stab to my video. But even so, it's also one of the most wholesome, positive series out there. It would be impossible to live in a world without hope. And we don't. As long as we're all here, there's a chance. It may be hard to see it, but hope is not gone. I'm a sucker for power of friendship and not giving up hope stuff like this that's lured throughout the entire series. The first chapter for the visual novel is actually free on Steam as well if you want to go check it out for yourself. Even though I'm mainly familiar with Higurashi, the linchpin of this whole theory lies with the Umineko series, but we'll get into that one a little later. When it comes to the Silent Hill series as a whole, I must admit I have not played all the games, so when it comes to the lore and history of the series I am a novice at best, only playing the first two games in PT, RIP Silent Hills. I'm also a fan of the two uh, world-renowned live-action films. All kidding aside, I actually did really enjoy the second one. You've been chosen. Silent Hill F doesn't seem like a mainline game though, so the rest of the games might not even factor in. We won't know for sure until the game releases. Spoiler warning before we continue, from this point on there will be minor and major spoilers sprinkled in from Higurashi and Umineko. All that we currently know about Silent Hill F comes from the trailer, so let's break that down and I'll explain my theory along the way. The trailer starts off showing a rural Japanese village. I'm not entirely sure which era or year it's from, so if you can tell from the design, please let me know in the comments below. This is also the kind of village that Higurashi takes place in, the rural village of Hinamizawa in June of 1983, which in itself is based on the actual real-life village Shirakawa Go in Japan. Could this just be a coincidence? Absolutely. But with Ryukishi 07, nothing is just a coincidence. We move on to see a schoolgirl staring down at what looks like a grave, followed by her walking through the abandoned town dragging a bloody or rusted pipe. This absolutely looks like a reference to the original pipe weapon from the older Silent Hill games. Almost exactly the same. But I also had a scene from Higurashi immediately pop in my mind when seeing this. <laughs> There are also multiple shots of Rena walking around her weapons, which feel similar to the way the character is walking in the trailer. As we continue, we start to see vines take over the area, trying to latch onto the girl and blossoming into flowers. These flowers are called Lycoris radiata, or red spider lilies, known as the Japanese hellflower. It's been a few months, but huge shout out to the comments on my reaction video to the trailer. A few of you filled me out on the info about these flowers, I truly appreciate it. Side note though, did anyone else immediately get Midsummer vibes from this? That alone is a whole other nightmare I do not want to get into. Now this is where things get interesting. Not only has Rikishi 07 worked on the When They Cry series, he also wrote the manga Higinbana no Saku Yoroni, or On the Night the Red Spider Lily Blooms. This is sadly not something I've read, I hope to do so eventually. It does seem like a heavy read though due to the content. This came out back in 2010, so he's had the red spider lilies on his mind for a while. I wouldn't be surprised if this manga series has references in the trailer as well. The overall theme of the story is about demons who force bullies and abusers to deal with the consequences of their actions. Good. 
The red spider lilies also show up in the mobile game Higurashi no Nagakoro ni Mei, a simple visual novel gacha game that's honestly a lot of fun and has some amazing artwork. There's a set of characters that's been coming out bit by bit for the past few months labeled as True Infection slash L5, basically the worst point that a character can be in the series. Each of these has an animation for their ultimate ability that has red spider lilies cover the screen. The first character for this was the Rena True Infection Outbreak which came out October 25th, 2022. The trailer for Silent Hill F came out on October 19th, 2022. Those dates line up too perfectly to be a mere coincidence. Flowers have also been a huge part of the first two openings for the Higurashi anime. The opening for Higurashi Kai is even called Naraku no Hana, or Flower of Hell. And at this point, I kind of think Silent Hill F might even stand for Silent Hill Flower, or Silent Hill Flower of Hell. That'd actually be a pretty sick title. What am I getting at bringing all this up, though? All the comparisons and references to other works? Well, I mentioned earlier about a linchpin from Umineko that could potentially tie everything together. It has been far too long, child of man. That linchpin is named Featherine Augustus Aurora, or known as Yua from the Higurashi Go and Sotsu seasons. It's never outright specified that they're one and the same, but come on, look at them. Who wouldn't assume they're one and the same, or a younger slash projected version of one or the other? Would love looking into this more once I finish the Umineko visual novels. Featherine is known as the witch of theater going, drama, and spectating. She's known as the creator, able to create almost anything, not only bending the human world to her will, but the meta world as well. She can even change events as they happen to her. She's extremely OP and seemingly unstoppable. Yeah, but can she beat Goku though? Yes. Yes, she can. <laughs> Her whole premise is she's the director. It's like asking if Goku can beat Akira Toriyama. I can think of no better way to show how insane her abilities can be. There's only one thing that can stop her, and that's the only thing that's fatal to witches. Boredom. So what would be the one thing to help cure her boredom? Creating an entire new world and story. Silent Hill F. An escape from boredom which I so detest. I believe this can be well within her power, even though I don't know the full extent of it, and I honestly don't want to look up too much info and data on her so I don't spoil myself completely for the Umineko series. But using my power, anything you might want could be within your reach. I know about Burn Castle and Lambda Delta as well, but didn't want to bring them into this theory for the same reasons. If I can finish the Umineko visual novels before Silent Hill F releases, I might have to come back and revisit this theory. This would put Silent Hill F into the When They Cry universe, and I've never been more excited or terrified about a game releasing. I cannot wait to see what Ryukishi07 has up his sleeve for this one. Thank you all for watching. Again, this is only my personal opinion, but let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments below. I'd love to discuss. If you've made it to the end and haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for any future videos. Until next time, just keep being a kind person.